All right, this video is for people who want to create their own shoes. You just go to the main page, go to options and features, and then you go all the way down to um, 2K shoes. Once you get into 2K shoes, you could pick from Jordan, Adidas, Reebok, um, Nike. They have a few. I think right here I picked the Adidas because I'm remaking some shoes that I have in real life. Now, once you get in here, you need to be really patient because they have so many different layers to the shoes. And then the color wheel is really, really hard to get the color that you want. So you really have to slide the controls, the arrow controls, and then you have to slide the um, the uh, the turbo. Uh, you have to push the turbo button so that you can get to the right color that you want. One of the things that I tried to do was I tried to um, create layer over layer over layer because I found out that I was able to find exactly what I wanted when I did that. So I made sure that I did create different layers. Right here, I'm kind of contemplating what color I want to have the shoe. I'm going to, I think I'm going to decide on a dark uh, blue color for this shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward while I'm playing around with the color wheel. Okay, so I decided on gray because I do have some gray um, curries. And so right now, I'm just kind of creating this shoe from the top of my head and just using my imagination. Um, I am using some of the colors that I have on my um, Stephen Curry's, like the pink right there. I do have some shoes like that. And so as you can see, when you click on all of these, you get different layers and different designs you you got fabric right there um and then i'm i'm doing the color reel right now and i'm trying to change the color so i'm adding another layer and once you once you add a layer then it's going to ask you different things about the layer and then you can click left and right and then you can see how that looks so right here i'm kind of making it up as i go and then designing the colors as I go to. And this is really fun for me because I'm an artist and I like to mix colors. I like to play around with um, blending different colors and stuff like that. So I thought it was pretty cool um, how the colors blended like that. Now, right here, I'm just adding a lot of layers because I realize if you really want to get the shoe design that you want, you have to add layer upon layer because they don't really have a really, really wide selection. So right here, I think I'm going to go with metal. Because you see how glossy that is? I end up picking a lot of the um, metal as far as the fabric. Because you can change the fabric. And the, if you change the fabric, then the color changes a little bit too. Um, and so I really like the fabric um, metal. And so right here, I'm going a little faster. This is the second shoe that I made. That's why I'm going so fast. Because I'm trying to make this shoe for just for this video. And I'm kind of keeping it consistent. With the metal, um, I was thinking about going suede. I think I did go suede right there because I like having suede on, on my shoes. And so, I think it really looks really nice right now with some of the uh, color designs that I chose. And with some of the fabric designs that I chose. So, as you can see, I'm trying to make it a little darker. So, I'm going with the darker colors. So, I'm sliding the uh, color wheel so that it goes darker. All right, you guys, I'm going to speed up to the end. But as you guys can see, add layer upon layer. And that way you can get the shoe exactly how you want it. Okay, so right here, I'm pretty much done with the shoe. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to save it. Because I had a couple of problems the first time that I tried to save it. As you can see, there's an Adidas logo um, on this shoe. Please remember to put the logo on last. Because I'm about to show you exactly what will happen if you don't put the logo on last. It says brand logos must be placed on the top of all the other components. And so the mistake I made last shoe is I put the logo on first. So now I know not to do that. So now I'm putting the logo on as the last thing. So right here, I think I'm going to change the color a little bit um, of the logo. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going into the logo right here, and then I'm making sure that the logo is outside. I think that's the logo I'm going to go with. So I'm going to pick that logo right there with the three stripes and 
twirl the shoe around. All right, and right here, I'm just making sure I like the shoe exactly how it is because you can't go in after that. So right here it says, yes, you want to name it. So make sure you give your shoe a name. So I just gave this shoe um, the name of uh, creator video because I knew that I was using that shoe just to create a video. So make sure you go ahead and name the shoe. After you name the shoe, then you can go back into my career and then you can go to Foot Locker and the shoe will be there. It will be there in the Foot Locker. The only problem is that it's going to be $10,000. I mean, 10,000 VC. And so I don't know if you have 10,000 VC, but I didn't have 10,000 VC. So the shoes that I made, I was not able to buy, but they still in the um, Foot Locker so that I can buy them. And if you spend a lot on VC, then obviously 10,000 VC wouldn't be too much for you. And you can go ahead and buy your own shoe and then you can wear them. All right.